हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग जांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू यूज लाइटनिंग मैसेज सर्विस टू पास मैसेज फ्रॉम वन एलडब्ल्यूसी कंपोनेंट टू अनदर एलडब्ल्यूसी कंपोनेंट सो इन दैट केस बोथ कंपोनेंट्स वर अनरिलेटेड राइट कंपोनेंट व्हिच सेंड्स मैसेज इज कॉल्ड एज पब्लिशर कंपोनेंट एंड कंपोनेंट व्हिच रिसीव्स मैसेज इज कॉल्ड एज सब्सक्राइबर कंपोनेंट एंड सी हाउ वी कैन पास मैसेज सो सी इफ आई क्लिक हियर सो हियर यू कैन सी हेलो पराग राइट सो सी From this publisher component, we have sent message Parag to subscriber component, right? So in previous video, we have seen how to pass one message from publisher component to subscriber component, right? In this video, we will see how to pass multiple messages from publisher component to subscriber component. So what we will do instead of passing this complete name or full name, we will have two fields. One is first name and another will be last name. And that two values we will pass from publisher component to subscriber component. So we will modify previous program code. So see, I have opened Visual Studio Code. So see, where we have to make changes. So see, this is publisher component dot HTML. Now see, instead of one text field, we require two text fields, right? So see, what we will do here, I will mention enter first name. Here we will change function name. So see. handle change first name something like this now see we will copy this and one more text field we will add like this so see here we will make enter last name and also we will change function name so see handle change last name like this so see in previous example there was only one text field right now we have added two text fields right okay now see here we have mentioned two functions right handle change first name and handle change last name right so see what we will do we will define this function in javascript file so see already we have defined this function right so see we will change name handle change first name right now see here we have only one property right so this property also we will change so see what we will do we will take one property first name with n capital and one more property we will take like this so see first name this property i am copying and here we will mention right so see by this function we are taking value for the first name that will be first text field right now see i am copying this function now we will define another function so see handle change last name like this now see this last name okay so see by this we are taking value for the first name and last name now see we have to make changes in payload so see in previous example we were passing only one value right now here we have to pass two values first name and last name right so see what we have to do now see this name is a field from the message channel right and this dot name it was the property that was defined in this file right so see what we have to do so see this property name we will change so what property name we have first name right and this is the field name right so in message channel we have to define two property one for first name and another for last name right so see what we will do in message channel so see we have this one field right now we will copy this and we will have two fields so see here i will make first name and here we will mention first name of the person and see here i am making last name and here last name of the person so see in message channel i have added two fields first name and last name right now see this properties we will use in our javascript file so see i am saving it so see here will make first name so see this first name is a field from the message channel right and this first name is a property from this file so in the same way we will initialize second field so see comma now see last name so this is the property from the message channel colon this dot last name right so see last name is the property from this file right and this is the field last name this is the field from our message channel right last name it is a field from the message channel so see in message channel we have defined two fields 
first name and last name and that we have mentioned in publisher component javascript file right okay so i have saved it now see what changes we have to make in subscriber component so see this is subscriber component html file now see here instead of one name we will have two names right first name and last name so see that changes here we will do first name like this last name right now see we have to define this property first name and last name in javascript file right so see that we will add here so instead of name now we will have first name and last name right last name like this now see from the connected callback function we have called handle subscribe function right and in this handle subscribe function so see we get values in parameter right and from this parameter we are retrieving values right so see what we will do now see this name was the property from this javascript file right so see we will change it first name right now see and this name was a field from the message channel right so see that also we will change like this right so see this first name is a property from this javascript file and this first name is a field from the message channel right now see in the same way we will write second property so see this dot last name is equal to parameter dot last name right so see first name and last name these are the properties from the message channel right and from this we are allocating values to first name and last name which are the properties in subscriber component right okay so see I have saved it okay and no need to make any changes in meta.xml file right so this meta.xml file we will keep as it is like this now see we will deploy our updated component so see first we will deploy our message channel okay it is done now we will deploy our publisher component okay it is done now we will deploy subscriber component okay it is also done okay now see we will refresh it by control f5 like this so here you can see first text field and second text field right so see here we will mention parag and last name suppose jambulkar and if you click on this button click here so here you can see hello parag jambulkar right so see in this example we have passed two values right first value and second value right so see in this video we have seen how to pass multiple values from publisher component to subscriber component and accordingly we have made changes in publisher component subscriber component and message channel i will provide this program code in my udemy course resources if you have not joined my udemy course so please join it and also provide five star rating okay so we will meet in next video thank you